Please serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including your mother. Fuck your war. The cultists are exterminating my family. You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Irodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. Who is Thermopylae? I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Evil on Earth. Clean episode 3. Well, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of killing. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open. Slaves understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. <laughs> it looks like every one of these guys have like a freaking fragment or something. What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? needs democracy when Thrakmi rules the world? Uh. 
I spent 20 years at sea, only to realize the cult was my home. The fight is only over when I am the last man left standing. Damn, there's a lot of people. Chaos is our greatest strength. is nothing without me. Even the gods cower in my wake. Kneel or die. This is where that traitor snuck the Persian army past Sparta's defenses. Feels as if I'm betraying Sparta too. Ah! 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 
I'll make your death sweet, Christios! Join me and my crew. You're a sailor at heart, just like me. Do I have enough to increase the hull? Nope. stories of Leonidas. I can't believe I'm finally seeing where history was made. This is the hard bit? They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity.
You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Xerxes right there. Spartan Falls. Uh. Herodotus! I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A Damn contract treachery. was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. <laughs> what happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued. And his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans, and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, 
I heard whispers of an ancient civilization, a people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned a people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. I really wonder if there's a lion there in our current reality, in our real world, IRL. I'd love to do a trip over there. Ah, oh, nice, put me on the boat. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Herodotus. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. All we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotus and I share enemies too. Like in Pinor? He is... was... part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo was not allowed that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. Why, Hermes? The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads I them? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be my brother. Your brother? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated. Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies, and one of them fights like Athena and sits thunder like Zeus. We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Get ready to fight! Ah, safe again! The Adrestia needs to sail once more! Some 
all the precious loot. Come on, do it. Oh, we're gonna have a high bounty on our asses now. Sign over here, seeing I go through this. What's this? A mercenary in the water. <laughs>
For that one, man. Not yet. I think we're out of danger here. I'm 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 gonna... We can pull away again after the Lord catch the bread. The bay of my heart is here. You know, the back of a handful of Athenians pushed back the first Persian invasion. The great Themistocles. King Darius of Persia. I'm not sure. A site where the great Theseus slayed the vicious Crete and Oh, that was wrong. <sighs> You're both hopeless. <laughs> Getting crazy in the ocean. Let's upgrade the hull for the ship. Two more stone tablets. Okay. Upgrade the oars. Not everything takes stone tablets. Where am I going to get those? Let's see, we got some the new the mercenaries. An army brought it back from the Battle of Thermopylae. Why are you bring it back to her? Leonidas was her father. Incredible! And it gives you visions. Perhaps it's trying to guide you, show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be just before it happens. Yes, here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. I was more excited by the fact that Andros exports some of the most expensive marble in the world. Is this the place with the rumored ancient civilization ruins you were talking about? It is indeed. 
Look for a large gate. Ready the ship for docking! Here it is. Are there going to be bears and boars on this island? Oh yeah, that looks like a gate to the ancients. The spear. Step, step, step. Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going to. I know, but it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> forward. <laughs> Alright, this is kind of like a little bit blind with the... I haven't forgotten you.
How does a place like this exist? Good question. How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. Wait, did I lock the, the second weapon slot? I did. Is that about and what do we unlock the spear? Photo mode, both joysticks in. Oh, that's nice to know. Take some sick features. Or I could just pause one of my past broadcasts and take a screenshot. No, I'm out of the animals. Demos. The forge. I knew I let you stay in the animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. All right. If you insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't. The Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahman variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. Damn, that's some good high tech. I'll go stretch my legs. 
Too bad we don't have access to the Absurgo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. I should check my email. Nah. The center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. I don't even check my emails and I got a shit ton every day. in Australia. She has so many emails. I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? No sé dónde están, mijo. Préstame las tuyas. No, acá están. So, does what I'm seeing as Cassandra match your research? I had to tweak the animus to use what we have of the book as reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotus. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles, the chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history's cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. Alright, I think this is a good point to bring a 
pause to the live stream and we'll continue the let's play in the next part when we have more in-depth exploration of the office. Alright, see you guys in the next one.